I'm Melissa Therry, your neighborhood news reporter in Alice. In my years as a Duval and Jumwas County resident, thankfully, I haven't heard the emergency sirens blasting except during testing. I'll tell you what these sirens mean and what to do if you hear one. <laughs> Yes, I've heard him before. Annabelle Garcia has lived on the outskirts of Alice for nearly 40 years. She says the volunteer fire department near her home tests the sirens regularly. The one in her area is one of eight tornado alert sirens in Jim Wells County, said Patrick Thomas, the Alice Emergency Management Coordinator. Uh, we're prepared. Uh, we've been testing all of our equipment, testing our systems, making sure our facilities are prepared. We're very fortunate that our city does have a uh, outdoor warning system. Thomas says they've been preparing for the hurricane season since before Tropical Storm Alberto was in the Gulf. Now, with Hurricane Barrel, they're reviewing all systems as precaution. One of the preparations is to make sure all emergency personnel are in communication with the National Weather Service in Corpus Christi. And, and the idea between, be, behind the warning system is that if somebody is outdoors, they, are, they, they should hear the siren and it'll get them to... Uh, take, take action and move indoors, seek shelter, uh, because there's a tornado in the area. While the sirens will go off when needed, Thomas says, stay alert with all alert warning systems available to you. Thomas tells me not every siren will go off at once. It depends where the tornado path is. If I hear a siren and it's for tornado warning, I have where I, there's a closet like between the halls and I would go in there. Yeah, because there's no windows. Emergency officials say with Hurricane Barrel still on the move, we should be prepared for all potential situations. In Alice, I'm Melissa Trevino, your neighborhood news reporter for Chris 6 News.